case describes a 59-year-old woman who uh, presented in August 2014 with acute abdominal pain. Uh, scan showed an 11-centimeter tumor in the jejunum um, with a 3-centimeter liver metastasis. Needle biopsy showed metastatic gastrointestinal stromal tumor, GIST, uh, with a high mitotic rate, greater than 5 mitoses per 50 high-power fields, um, and an exon 11 mutation. Uh, the patient was started on imatinib, 400 milligrams daily. So this patient has a fairly aggressive GIST with a high mutation rate. Um, when we deal with a small bowel GIST and a single liver metastasis, um, we may want to consider uh, future resection, even though it's unlikely to be curative. Uh, removing um, all sites of disease may result in better long-term outcomes. But certainly, I would uh, agree with starting with imatinib, uh, based on the very substantial improvement in progression-free survival and overall survival associated with this drug. Um, exon 11 mutations tend to be uh, very sensitive to imatinib, um, and the dose of 400 milligrams is an appropriate starting dose for this mutation. So imatinib has been a life-changing drug for patients with metastatic gist. The median survival durations used to be very short, somewhere in the order of one to two years. Now they're well in excess of five years. So uh, uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumors are one of the cancers that have responded extremely well to a targeted therapy, specifically because they tend to have a single activating mutation, which uh, imatinib targets uh, very well. There may be some additional tests we would want to get a baseline in this case. A PET scan may be helpful, especially if we're considering surgery. We want to try to identify all sites of disease. Uh, PET scans can also sometimes be useful for early assessment of response. Uh, sometimes they go from positive to negative very quickly. However, it's not absolutely a mandatory component of the initial evaluation.